the lives of traditional Solomon Islanders may be a world apart from modern British royals, but today they met and found common ground. The couple clearly relaxed and feeling a little more sheltered in the Pacific as the storm continues to break internationally over the publishing of topless photos of the Duchess. In Honiara, they've put that aside, making time for an overwhelmed public. We've seen them in magazines, but now they're here, so it's really nice. Oh, she's, she's so pretty! pretty. She's the prettiest woman in the world! We love her! It's, it's history to me. The children of Honiara have been given the day off school so they can join the thousands here who have come to greet the royal couple. Our cameras were inside the World Vision hut as Prince William and Kate met with a number of locals who are making a real difference in their community. Hello. And it wasn't just people who won the attention of the royal couple. Do they have names? Um, maybe I will call their names by my kids. Okay. <laughs> well, William and Catherine. <laughs> the couple's enthusiasm for local enterprise was also evident last night when they wore clothes by Pacific designer Eleanor Tavioni. This land is the most beautiful place imaginable and the people of the Solomon Islands are amongst the most gracious and friendly we have ever met. The Queen told us this would be so and as with so much else in her long reign, her Majesty was absolutely right. Today, Prince William showed his colours as future king, easily interacting with young Solomon Islanders. The newlyweds appear to be finding their stride, both as a couple and as the future head of the Commonwealth.